Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the first task here, how to actually find the perimeter of the triangle formed by these three lines. So remember that if you want to find the perimeter of a triangle, you need what do you need? You need the distances. You need the three distances, all right? Now to figure out the distances, you need the points. Now in this case, I didn't actually give you the points. So you got to figure out what the points are first before you can actually work out what the distance is and then you can work out the, um, the actual perimeter of the triangle. Now you've got three lines here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this equation one or line one. I've got line two and I'm gonna put this as line three here, all right? So we've got three lines. So potentially it could look something like this where that's the first line then you could have the second line look like this. Have I got all the things right? 3x plus 1. Okay. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll, find, we'll figure it out. Something like that. Maybe not. I know that it's going to create a triangle, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use equation 1 and 2 to figure out where line 1 and line 2 is going to actually meet up. Alright. So first, I'm going to use 1 and 2. So for that one, I could just put y equals to x, y equals to 2x plus 3. And if I, because they're both y's on both sides, I can put x is equal to 2x plus 3. Rearranging this, I get negative x equals positive 3, x equals to negative 3. Now all we've done here, if you've got up to here, all you figured out is the x coordinate of where the two lines actually meet. You got to figure out the y coordinate. Now to figure out the y coordinate, you can take negative 3 and put in either one of these equations. So I'm going to put it in because I already have y equals to x. Therefore, y is also equal to negative 3. So my first point that I have is negative 3, negative 3. Okay, that's the first point that, that I need. So with the second one, I'm going to use equation 2 and equation 3. So I'm going to put those two together and work out my second point. Alright, so my equation 2 is y equals 2x plus 3. Equation 3 is y equals 3x plus 1. So put them together get rid of the y's, so I have 3x plus 1 equals 2x plus 3, rearranging it, I get x equals, uh, what have we got, 3 minus 1, so x equals to 2. Is that okay for the second point, the x value? I need the y value, the y coordinate, so y is equal to 2x plus 3, y equals 2 times 2 plus 3, and I have y equals to 7. So my second point is 2, 7. Okay? Am I on the right track? Okay. So the next part, I've got to put equation 1 and 3. Okay. So with equation 1 and 3, is it not popping up? Oh, we can't see it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, y equals to x and y equals to 3x plus 1. So putting them together, I have 3x plus 1 equals x. Rearranging it, I get 2x equals negative 1. x equals negative half. Yes? No? On the right track? Okay. So if x equals negative half, y equals to x, y also is equal to negative half. So my second point that I have is negative half and negative half. Sorry, not second, it's a third point. Is that okay? So what would be really good is probably to give them some sort of label so it's easy for you guys to work out. So I might call this, um, because I don't have to I'm going to call this point A going to call this point B, call this point C. Is that okay so far? 
I think you guys can do it from here onwards because from this point onwards you've got where am I going to put it so you need to work out distance of AB and distance of BC and distance of AC Okay, so you need the distances for those three things there. So distance of AB is going to be, I'm just going to put in this square root, guys. So what do we have? Uh, 7 minus minus 3 squared plus 2 minus negative 3 squared. Can someone tell me what that is, please, when you work it out? And BC, I have negative half minus 7 squared plus negative half minus 2 squared. AC is negative half minus negative 3 squared plus negative half minus minus 3 squared. Are we okay? Okay. Uh, since nobody's giving me the answer, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll give the full answer. Okay, now I'll just work. I'll work this out real quickly. Yeah. So you got seven minus minus three squared. Uh, is it the eleven point one eight, the first one? Okay, so AB is 11.18. Uh, second one is. Is the second one 6.67? Yeah. Wait, are you guys sure it's 6.67? No, it's um, that's not right. Because it's negative half. Should be 7.9 age. The last one, 3.53? Yep. Okay, so those are the three distances, which means the perimeter. Perimeter is 11.18 plus 7.91 plus 3.53. Twenty two point six two folks, that's what you should be getting. Or oh, somewhere close to it. Okay. Stop that question there. <laughs>